Hi folks, in my opinion it's time to allow Diane Abbotts to retire with some dignity or bung her into the House of Lords as the old joke goes. Now, I actually liked Diane Abbott when she was doing that TV show. She seemed full of life. She, you know, she put forward her views. Doesn't mean you have to agree or disagree, but they were interesting. And, you know, the whole show was rather entertaining. It was the only thing I actually watched in the end on the BBC. It was often after Question Time, which became rather dull. You know, it became typical. Almost... It was scripted. You'd have a lot of left-wing people do the, uh, I like the NHS, and everyone claps. Oh, it's my religion is the NHS. Clap, 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 clap. Uh, and they're really dull. And it, I mean, most of the people are as dull as this water. Um, actually, I went on the show once years ago, but I sat at the back and no one, no one. I mean, I had no question really. It'd have been. Well, I did. It was rubbish. I'd have made myself look foolish if I'd been asked it. Fortunately, I wasn't. Anyway, on the, on this show, that was after... If I remember, it was after question time. I think I'm correct in that. Or was it? Am I wrong on that? I forget. So long ago. It was. She was full of life. But today, she doesn't seem well. Now... She's going on interview after interview and she looks shattered totally. She looks drained. She doesn't look well. She's struggling to... I mean, maybe she can, some interview she's doing well, but, the you know, a lot of interviews that are played back, she's um, stumbling along, uh, giving very strange answers, almost slurring her words. Now, the... Um, I believe that one report is that she may have di diabetes and that's the explanation. But regardless of what it is, I'd argue she's definitely not the lady she was. And she, it doesn't seem fairness to have her humiliate herself in this way. Now, unfortunately, I think, and the impression I get is, from a viewer, from an outsider, is that the Labour or the left user the user they drag her around like a pet they say look at this lady she's our first black mp marvelous and that's my feeling why they keep her as a pet just to display to show how diverse they are with their mps they do this with a lot of the mps they put forward it's rather insulting towards the vote i'd say to think that you are only going to vote for somebody because if they're of a certain ethnic group or whatever. It's rather meaningless because, in reality, a black lady can represent me just as well as a white male can represent someone black, the black community, as it were. I have no interest if somebody's rich or poor. If somebody can be posh as anything and I feel they, they can represent me. It's irrelevant. I know that Labour or the left t often tend to tell us or inform us that we should only be voting for people who look the same as us. And they sort of have this sort of strange but tale they'll tell us that someone posh isn't um, good, you know, should not be an MP to represent people because they are distant from themselves. And by the way, I've not bothered if somebody is distanced because sometimes that means they have an outsider's look. They are sort of not... They're disconnected and sometimes I think that can be helpful. People who aren't connected to it too much. Sometimes when you're too close to something, you don't see the picture. I mean, if you look at... Um, if you go and you go look out your window, you're only going to see a small section of land you might see your garden well if you look on google maps you're going to see the whole of england if you wanted if you see what i mean you see a better picture sometimes when you're not so close but yeah so i think it's um disgraceful to be honest the way labor i mean to me labor racist and sexist in the in the way that they treat her it feels like that they just you know i always get whenever i see anybody promoted as an mp or even a councillor, 
and they mention the colour of the skin or the sexuality or whatever, where they say, oh, well, I'm, I'm disabled, oh, I'm black, oh, I'm female. And, you know, as that is the um, thing we're supposed to vote for them on, that's appalling. That's it. one of the most disgusting things going. You shouldn't ever vote somebody because of the colour of their skin or the, the, what sex they are, where the background is, if they're rich, poor, posh, whatever, disabled, gay, lesbian, it doesn't matter. You shouldn't ever have to... That shouldn't be a method you go, you know, is used to um, get people's votes. And if you vote for somebody like that, on the basis of that, if that's the only reason you vote for somebody because somebody's black or they're white or they're male or they're female or they're gay or lesbian or bi or whatever or disabled, and that's the only reason, or even a single, re <clears throat> or even a single reason, even if it's the tiniest of reasons, then in reality I'd argue you're a bit thick and stupid because you're not voting for the person. And it, in many ways, makes you a racist because you're clearly seeing people as a colour, not as a person. Now, again, I think if um, Diane Adwett hadn't been the first black MP, they might have retired her or encouraged her to retire. And don't forget as well, I mean, I, I actually supported her when she said um, she said sent her kids to state school. Because she gave a valid reason. I shall oh, remember that. I support for that. Why would you send your kids to Dumpy State School? She was quite correct. Now, she has one of her sons seems to have some sort of mental health problems, I'd say. It doesn't seem, from what I gather, it doesn't seem um, a criminal. It just seems to have been involved with the police. And it sounds mental health issues, if anything. And perhaps it would be, you know, helpful for both of them to spend more time together. Um, because we don't want to see him harming himself or anything, and you know, perhaps he perhaps he's got himself together with luck because the pictures he looked like a nice chap. Um, but yeah, you see, for me, Diane Abbott, she, she would actually, if she if she was full of energy again, she'd make an excellent presenter, either on the TV or the radio or whatever, or whatever. I mean, she's there's things there I think she can do. But at the moment, she doesn't look very well and hasn't done for ages. And it all came all of a sudden. I mean, as I say, I see the pictures of when she was on TV full of life. And the person we see today does not look like her. I mean, sometimes I even wonder if it is her. She's changed so much. Um, I'm saying this because... She's still being used by people, in my opinion, as this as a pet. Especially by people on the left. They they just it's 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 sickening. It makes me feel disgusted towards these people the way they treat her. Dragging her around, using her. No. Anyway, I'll leave it there because I think oh sorry, the dogs are in the background. Um I'll leave it there. No doubt, I don't know. Well, I, as I said, I don't know. It, I'm not here to debate if she's a good MP or not because I think all of them are pretty useless anyway. And it's only if you're if if she's your MP, it's for you to decide. It's not for me to decide. She might be an excellent MP. She might not be. As I say, most MPs, in my opinion, just do no more than have nice meetings, pretend they're busy. Um, and do lots of photo ops. And again, I'd question, you know, I'm always interested in what they don't say often. As I say, with this online safety bill, um, the um, silence from them is almost deafening. They'll rub it on nonsense, really. You know, I'm always amused how they'll just, rather than talk about things that are important to you and me, They'll drivel on about whatever the latest trend is. So if the football's on, especially, you know, they'll pretend they're interested. They'll pretend they're interested in women's football, which no one is. Um, they'll just pretend whatever the latest thing is. If the Olympics are on, they'll pretend they're interested. None of this is relevant. If I was MP, I'd say it's all boring. And just, you know, because I think it, 
it doesn't feel genuine. Maybe some do like the football and stuff, but it feels fairly fake to me. I mean, I'm not interested in football, I can't stand it. And I find it rather odd these middle class people suddenly pretend to enjoy things that they think the voters like. It just feels false. I'd rather, if it was me, if I was an MP, I'd just say, look, sod you, I don't like any of you. Um, but I'll do you, you know, I'll do my best for you, but I'm not going to come round and pretend to like you. Can't stand any of you horrible, scummy people, but I'll do my best. That'd be more honest. Anyway, that's what I'd do. I'd insult everyone rather than, and, you know, because I always think it'd be better if uh, MPs were as rude as anything, because then you would actually vote for them for the, what they were, for their policies, what they believed in, rather than if you thought they were a nice person and they were all politically correct and said whatever the current buzzwords are, which often one suspects they're not really interested in. It's just to, because a lot of people, are <clears throat> a lot of voters, unfortunately, rather thick people. And you can see how happy they are. They'll happy clap at, you know. If you ever want to, to say anything to a lot of middle-class people to make them happy clap, you just say, I love the NHS. Oh, clap, 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 clap. Even though most of them will be in Bupa. Anyway, a little ra I'm just rabbiting on there a bit. But that's just um, one of my little thoughts for today, folks. Bye.